you know, I wanted to do something in which women weren't just sexy or available, but rather uh, something a little dangerous and in some ways their own kind of heroic effort. Um, but then it kind of moved on to other things and uh, I kind of feel like uh, female faces, at least for me, work as an anchor to mm -hmm. these other interests I have, whether it be material qualities or how uh, a mark exists within the space of a composition. I kind of like the idea of a romantic encapsulation of a unromantic relationship or maybe a, uh, it's not an unromantic one, but a dysfunctional romance. Well, my father's from here, San Antonio. My mother's from Korea. And, uh, you know, my dad was a military man. You know, I was kind of old school back then, so my mom had me like in a perambulator, you know, like the mm -hmm. ones where you lay down and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, she parked me outside to go into a store. And then uh, when she came back in, she came back out, I was gone. And somebody had kidnapped me. And so they went and uh, notified the authorities who staked out the train station and the buses because uh, almost nobody had cars back then, I, think, mm -hmm. I guess, 75. And um, they found me on the train about to head up to the mountains with my new mother who uh, resisted giving me up and uh, insisted she had only wanted to take me back home so she could show people how pretty I was. So my uh, watercolor collages are in some ways a way to, an attempt for me to open up the space of my compositions. I feel like uh, for a while I was getting into a uh, the habit of making very densely uh, horror vacuely uh, compositions in my drawings and paintings and whatnot. So I wanted to kind of open that space back up because, you know, I think drawing often is about, you know, your decisions in space. All right. And then, you know, I'm trying to incorporate things like um, marker and coloring my own thread with alcohol-based markers. Oh, that's really cool. So I can get like um, more uh, distinctive uh, blends or saturations that you wouldn't be able to get commercially. I mean, part of the reason why I'm doing watercolor is because, you know, I had a young child and had to uh, figure out a way not to poison him. So, watercolor it was. Do you still keep your small notebooks of all your drawings and watercolors? Yes. I, in fact, funny that you mention it because I think I have like 55 of them. Wow. And I'm going to start throwing them away because there's no reason to keep them. You know, there's, a, there's only so much influence that you can have from your own work. Then it's got to go.